Hi everyone, my name is Unshul and I'm the lead instructor for the course HE930, Predictive Analytics in Health Professions Education at MGH Institute of Health Professions in the summer of 2021. I'll be joined in instructing this class uh, with my, by my co-instructor, Nicole, who many of you know and the rest of you will meet very soon as our class kicks off. The purpose of this video is just to orient you to what you'll need to do in the first week of class. So what, I'm, what you see on your screen here is the D2L Desire to Learn course webpage for our class, and we'll be using this quite heavily throughout our semester together. Right now, what you see in front of you is the course home. So if you were to click on course home within D2L, this is where you would find yourself. I encourage you to just ignore this home page and ignore the content browser on this home page. And instead, what I'd like you to do anytime you're doing work for this class is to click on course materials, as I just did, and then click on the content button right here. So now we'll see that page load. And on my computer, it's set to go right to week number one. Uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. I also want to point out to you that the course information content module might be very useful to you in general, and I definitely would like everyone to look at this uh, today or this week when you begin work on the class. So in the course information section, you'll find two important documents. So one is the syllabus for the class. So you can click here to open and read the syllabus for the class. Uh, on the final page of the syllabus, you'll find a calendar of how the class is organized, and I encourage you to have a look at that so you have an understanding of the types of work that we'll be doing together each week. The next thing that's really important for you to do, and I would like everyone to do this week, is to look at this document called Important Course Information, and I'll open that on the screen here for you to have a look. So at the top are some key details that I'd like everybody to read this week. Uh, and then below it, you'll find a discussion leading schedule, and you'll find a table here. I'm not going to scroll further down so that nobody's name is displayed in the video, but you need to look for your name in the table that's right at the bottom here and see the week that you've been assigned to be a discussion leader in the class. And please put that week on your calendar because you'll have to do a little bit of extra work in that particular week and you'll receive more information about what your responsibilities are for that particular week when you're leading discussion. Very importantly, uh, as most of you know who have been signed up for the class for, for over a month now, uh, we have three days of synchronous sessions that are scheduled for as it says here, June 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. And I would like everyone to click on this link when you get to this, or you'll also find this link in an email you may have received from me. Please click on this link to open up a poll where I'd like everyone to fill out their availability for those three days so that we can schedule times that work well for everybody's schedule. Preliminarily, we plan to schedule two separate sessions on each of these three days, and you will be required to attend just one of those sessions on each day. Now I have navigated back to the week one content module in the course materials content section here on the screen. Each week when you do work for this class, just go to the content module on the left that corresponds to the week you want to do work for. So of course, we're in the first week now, so we're going to stay on week one. And each week at the top of the page here, you'll see the week's learning objectives as well as the work that you need to do for the week. Please be sure to always read this part of each week's content very carefully and then follow through the steps that you see on the screen to complete each week's work. As we scroll down a little bit further in week one, you'll see here that what you need to do for this first week is create a discussion post and submit it within D2L, responding to these four questions that you see here, 
So make sure you read these carefully and respond. And now I'll show you where you need to go to actually make your submission of your discussion post. What you'll do is you'll go to the top, click on communication, and then discussions. So we'll just let that load on the screen here. And then for the first week, you'll click on week one discussion. And then here, you'll have the opportunity to submit a new response to these discussion questions by clicking here on start a new thread. And then your response will appear below. Now we're back at the course homepage. I think that should be everything you need to get started for the first week of class. Feel free anytime to contact me and Nicole by email, or you can also contact me by phone, uh, which I'll share my number in an email with you. And please let us know anything we can do to support you or answer any clarifications uh, you'd like as you get started with the course. Thanks, and I look forward to working with everyone this summer.